circles come to me. After a while, some of my next dreams as a little boy was were, were, were dreams in which I, I would wake up in the middle of the night. I, I mean, dreams in which I would be running from people, you know, naked. And, and, and my feet just wouldn't move. And I always tried to figure out why can't I run inside my dreams? Why can't my legs move? They were just, they just wouldn't move. They weren't tied or anything, but they just wouldn't move. No matter how hard I tried to move them, they just wouldn't move. And it was embarrassing because some of these dreams, I was always naked, you know? I always couldn't escape from whoever were usually chasing me. I, I don't have any memory of what they were. Maybe if I dig deep into my mind, I could. They were, they were, they were little gray guys, little gray guys, little gray guys. I, I used to think it was just strange people in my dreams because I never heard really anyone talk about these funny looking gray insect type kind of things. They 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 they, they got skins like like they like they like the insects like nasty dirty cockroaches that, that kind of nasty skin insect kind of skin you know these little things would always come after me when I escape and try to run. I, I, I remember even one of my dreams, they, a couple of my dreams, they would throw me off things. It, it wasn't necessarily a cliff, but just throw me off things to let me fall. A matter of fact, some of the time when I, um, before I wake up, they would, it would feel as if they throw me off something and I would hit the ground but these things were so high that they throw me off I was supposed to die when I hit the ground but nothing never happened and I would always wake right back up inside of my head from these dreams those are my early childhood years. Then, when I started going to school, I first realized I have special abilities. When, when I first realized that I have very special abilities was when hold on is when I started realizing that I have some sort of special abilities in fact, I didn't even think it was no special abilities that I had. Well, in class, I wouldn't listen to what teachers were saying most of the times. In fact, sometimes when the teachers were talking, I, I had no clue what they were talking about. You know, between the age of seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven, eight, between the age of eight, nine, ten. I had no clues what the teachers were talking about. And I'll tell you, I started reading and writing. I had no knowledge of how to read and write. The only thing I knew was how to spell my name, which is spelled, which used to be spelled A N D R E. A N D R E. And I started spelling it. And I used to spell it N-N-D-R-E. 
I had no idea it was A-N-D-R-E. I used to just spell it from pure memory what I was told by my older cousin Paul.